Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna finish um, uh, the what to expect in the fourth month with your baby video. So this is the next part. And I'm just gonna continue where we left off. So um, we left off with her being sick and that um, that uh, it kind of that helped and we needed that all the way until she actually started to drink water and uh, from a sippy cup and actually get in the extra liquid that she needed um, <coughs> for the constipation to go away so don't forget that she was getting a lot of fiber like she was getting a lot of fiber from her diet but you need a lot of water to work with the fiber to get it out and uh, the prune juice did the trick until she actually started to drink enough water uh, what I did also wanted to say is that um, so she was sitting by herself she was also uh, sitting up uh, from a lying down position so uh, for example that took about two to three weeks to recover from that um, so at this point uh, so she did have some diarrhea when she was sick <coughs> but then as soon as it went away, she went back to being uh, constipated. So constipation was a big issue. And then at the end, as I said, uh, uh, just adding prune juice um, to her smoothie helped. Uh, so we are talking about an extremely small amount of like 10, 20 milliliters of um, juice per day. Five degree angle. <laughs> then she could already sit uh, by herself otherwise um, if she's laying down then she, you would give her the two fingers and she she pulls herself up to a sitting position and then she pulls herself up to a standing position right away as well um, and I said she was sleeping in her bed in her crib um, for her naps but then in the evening at night she was sleeping with me um, from last from the third month um, period so now she can turn over to both sides so she was moving a little bit more uh, and she <coughs> she she wanted to wake me up then she just hit the pillow or just said ha huh. just said ha huh. and then I had to wake up at this point uh, you can expect your baby and I said in the previous month month in the third month that they are actually reaching for toward the toy not be before they were just generally like this try and the third month they are reaching actually toward something and so now she if she was sitting in her chair or uh, if, if she was on her uh, gym um play gym then she could actually reach the toys and play with them and hit them and uh, play with the rattles and the different noise of uh, toys so she finally got to the point where she could actually reach them um, she got to the point that if you put something on her face then she takes it off so that's a big step of preventing suffocation so it's always nice when they get to that point um, also, so she was playing and I said now that she could finally reach the toys uh, from her play gym as well as from her She has a chair that had um, toys above her and she could reach them uh, she could play for like half an hour there like she, you could Literally leave her there and she was fine playing for half an hour by herself And that's actually quite good at the, at this age. So we are still talking about four and a half and this is my oh, this is actually towards the end of the four month or oh, sorry so this is almost at the fifth month um also she started to open up her arms toward you like she wants you to hug her or grab her she was finally showing finally showing that to you i also got her a uh, jumpero at this point because she loved she really wants it wants to walk and this is what I guess I'm gonna I said I'm gonna talk about uh, in this video basically this is at the five month mark I'm sorry with the Kleenex I just I have such a running nose it's crazy so uh, so, um, so walking 
and all that so um and i'm bringing this up not just because she started she wanted to walk and she's been walking already uh, with help at this uh, mark so i would say that this is right at the four months so right at the beginning of the fifth month that we are talking about so because she could sit she could pull, her, pull herself up to sit she always put herself up to stand and from there she wanted to walk with your with a, with obviously your holding her hand like i will let her walk naturally like <coughs> she wasn't on her on her tippy toes you know it's not like we were holding her up and she's on her tippy toes no she was actually on her feet flat and just um, kind of we were giving her support like she really wanted to walk um because i said if you give her your hand she put herself up to sitting and then to standing right away and she started to walk right away so she you we gave her support but uh, it was very important for us to let her walk naturally so that her feet are on the ground and as well as that she only walks as much as she wants to walk but oh, she wanted to walk all the time so actually we didn't let her walk so much uh, she enjoyed it way too much so yeah so basically what I, why I wanted to bring this um, whole walking and then that's why she gave her, um, I got her a jumper as well because um, she could kind of do the whole um, she could definitely do the jumping in there and uh, again this is something that uh, uh, they don't advise you to do so uh, um, anyone who's actually listening or watching my channel now I just want to put this out maybe as a disclaimer that doctors don't or nurses or PTs uh, whatever um, OTs <laughs> whatever therapists there are they don't recommend your baby to walk at this age uh, and I don't want your baby to be in a jump hero either definitely not a baby walker nothing like that so um, just so you know and uh, against all this my baby was and it all turned out to be fine and uh, she was a very early walker I mean now she's 18 months she can hike she can go up and down she can run she walks on her tippy toes she's just about to start jumping that's uh, she's getting there like we can see that uh, that's coming as well so there was no issues with her leg not developing fine or anything and uh, i do know that they have an issue that they don't want uh, babies to walk before they crawl because crawling because crawling develops very important muscles um and it's uh, important for those to develop before the baby starts walking um it wasn't really an issue for us because uh, she just started to walk uh with our help and like maybe a week later she was crawling maybe a week later like that's gonna be in the fifth like we are at the end of the four months and then that's gonna be in the fifth month uh, video that but basically from the point that she was sitting a couple of weeks later she <coughs> she was sitting a week later she was pulling up to sitting and standing and walking with our help and then maybe another week later she was crawling so and she was crawling a lot obviously because um, that was her way to get around um, and very soon after she was pulling herself up and cruising around so she did all this really fast by herself and she was walking really well by by the summer but uh point is i want to talk about this that uh, so because she was born under a certain amount of weight <laughs> under a certain amount of weight and or age <laughs> you get a referral to the <coughs> bc children's hospital for follow-ups and i don't even know how often like uh, they want you to follow up but this was the first one because uh, this was the, we only went to the first one and then um, never ever again um, but anyways, this is where uh, to us telling us not to let her walk and all that stuff. And I just so I'm just gonna talk about it because uh, even though uh, my baby was walking with help and she was using her jump hero and all that, doctors don't recommend it. So I'm just bringing this up and I'm gonna go by my notes what they actually said right right at the, this meeting because this is where. All this came up anyways 
I was reading about it online before and I know that it was they were why they didn't want they, their, the kids to walk too early was because of the uh, lag development and also because uh, of the back development so if they if they don't crawl then they don't develop those muscles but again this wasn't an issue because she was crawling <coughs> a week later uh, but back to this point so we went to this BC children's hospital visit which was like two freaking hours almost three hours it was absolute hell and uh, if if, if uh, someone needs that uh, and uh, because their baby was preterm and they actually have lots of issues yeah, I'm sure it's an amazing thing, but for us, it was just seriously, we went there and we were like, yeah, we're not, never, ever, 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 ever coming back in here. Yeah, for three hours. First of all, there's an hour to get there and an hour to get home and she hates the car. And then also, like, you're there for like two, two almost three hours, and then so you're missing the naps, you're missing, uh, you, you can feed her, but she really doesn't. Like, uh, we had all these feeding issues that uh, kind of required us to be home home for her to eat uh, her solid foods uh, normally. So it's an occupational therapist uh, who's gonna say they done a lot of tests on her just to see if she's um, doing the reaching, uh, she's uh, turning over to her back, blah blah blah. They didn't even check if she can sit, like, and, and she can sit. They didn't even check that, but uh, so they, uh, they, they never even realized that she can sit because she, they were just doing other tests just to see if she can uh, turn over for, from one side to the other. And also they were checking if one side is more uh, developed muscle-wise than the other, if she's using one side more than the other. So they did uh, tell me that uh, she's using her right hand more than the left and uh, that it shouldn't be at that age and, uh, you know, like try to get her to use the other hand as well and I'm like people the reason why she's using her right hand more is because she can sit but she needs uh, um, support so she's supporting herself on her left hand and she's playing with the right hand I didn't see any issues with this so yeah she's a right-handed kid and obviously she uses her right hand a lot more than, she, than her left hand but we all do, so yeah, I don't care. <laughs> so this was a point that they made, but I really couldn't care less. They did point out that she's very smart and uh, uh, she's she don't have any developmental issues, which we already knew. Uh, also, they, they were completely surprised that she can turn the page in a book, like she's been doing that for like, I don't know at least two months anyways um, and also they were very surprised that she reached for a square and pro like if they they presented a square on a, a flat surface and then she reached for the square and took it off I don't know maybe this is something uh, they, they were very surprised uh, I don't so I'm guessing that it's not something that people usually uh, big kids at that age usually do I don't know uh, <coughs> Uh, so here they we, we talked about the whole feeding issue, but uh, we just uh, they, they were the ones who referred me to the clinic, um, the feeding clinic where I just didn't go because I was like I don't care. I'm just she's 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 perfectly switched over to the solid food, but so I I, I don't see the point of hassling over trying to get her to drink the formula that she hates. Um, anyway, some people probably think otherwise, and it's their. Uh, you know, everyone thinks whatever they want to. So what they were saying is, and is that they are seeing a lot of uh, her arching her back, <coughs> which is exactly what babies do when they are upset, right? Uh, and she was very upset. <laughs> she was very upset at the time, and she did do a lot of arching her back. Um, and I was trying to explain it to them that this is not. A normal behavior for her obviously she does arch her back whenever she's upset tired which is a completely normal thing for a baby but they were saying that she's overdoing it she's always doing it it was because she was so upset over there right like she was totally upset she hated the whole thing three hours and as I said she was missing two naps so again uh, there was a point where we didn't uh, it was another point where we didn't agree so 
but I'm just saying that in case it is an issue for you that uh, it have that is not good so you might want to uh, talk to your doctor and get a refer referral to a physiotherapist you want the baby to flex a lot more and not do the whole extension and when, because when the baby crawls they actually are flexing the whole time and that's why and uh, I was trying to explain it to them that my baby is do doing a lot of flexing because she can sit first of all <laughs> and when she sits this is uh, that's the position I right? she sits like that uh, also she started to crawl like I said a week later but uh, and that's all flexing so basically they just want them to balance out the extensions with the flexing just for the muscle development so they did point it out that my baby is doing a lot of ex arching the back and lots of extension and uh, I was trying to explain to them that it's just because of you guys <laughs> right here making her super angry and that's it not the normal behavior so and I said I it was another point where we didn't agree but if it does uh, um, you think it's an issue for you then definitely go and check get that checked out and get a referral to a physiotherapist uh, the other thing uh, was um, that's when they actually talked about um, her not letting her walk or uh, or use a, a jump arrow at all because uh, they were saying that uh, well it's too early they have to uh, they don't use their feet properly uh, if they walk, they walk on their tippy toes not true as I said, I mean, made sure that she's walking flat um, if she walks then she's flat, her feet are, feet are flat on the surface so um, I think this is what they, that those are kind of the ideas of an early worker and uh, if it's something uh, that you want to be cons if it concerns you or not that's uh, up to you and your baby so I was pretty sure of my baby and I knew that my baby is doing well and my baby was doing well and uh, turned everything turned out to be fine and as I said she was a really early walker and it, as I said everything turned out fine uh, but what I got from these <laughs> professionals is that if you're if that, that is that they don't want your baby to walk too early because uh, lots of times they are on their tippy toes instead of their flat uh, there is the, they, they have that instinct if you hold the baby up like this they walk because it's an instinct but they walk uh, on their tippy toes um, so it's very important that if they do walk they have to be flat feet so they start using their toes for walking um, it's also very important that they they don't skip crawling which um, my baby didn't she got into crawling right after um they need a very good uh, head control but my baby had a amazing head control as everyone said that uh, and that is all part of her actually being born three months early so because she was born three months early um that means that she was um, you, she was she had an extra three months of getting used to uh, gravity and actually even while she was in the incubator she could she was moving against gravity and she was moving there a lot and her muscles were developing a lot better than if she was still inside mm -hmm. and uh, so her development mm -hmm. uh, is always compared to um, like at this point uh, her development was compared to a four month old baby right but uh, she also had that three months of extra um, muscle strength that she acquired in the incubator that a newborn wouldn't have. Um, that has, uh, it might be a little bit conf confusing for a lot of people, but the reason why I knew that baby is, is, is fine with this whole early walking thing is because, um, because I knew what my baby is capable of. Uh, and I knew her really, really well. And then I, I saw that she's walking as she should. She enjoyed it. She was never forced to walk. She she was actually forced not to walk as much. She always wanted to stand. She was forced not to stand as much. Um, so we were trying to get her to crawl a little bit more, sit a little bit more, just to develop the muscles more. But she because her muscles were developed really well, 
already um, she just wanted to walk and I think in the next uh, month video we'll be probably going to talk about this a lot more because uh, this is just uh, she just started she we just got to this at the end of the four month so obviously this is going to be more of the next month uh, thing because most people don't expect their baby to start walking at five month, uh, four months old <laughs> in the fourth month so um, it's actually probably not something that most people have an issue with and that's why we're going to talk a lot more about it in the fifth month and I'm probably going to repeat a lot of these things in the fifth month uh, video because lots of people maybe are doing it in the fifth month but uh, what I did want to point out in this one is that if you are, your baby does start walking on standing um, at this four month uh, mark just so you know that most doctors or occupational therapists, physiotherapists, all that, they don't agree with that, they don't want your baby to do that, they don't want you to use a walker and they don't want you to use a jump pedal. Even though I'm, I'm, I'm saying that I did use that and that my baby did walk, as a disclaimer I need to point it, put it out there that every baby is different and also that the general medical stuff are against babies walking this early so we're gonna talk a lot more about this in the next video in the what to expect in the fifth month but uh, I wanted to point this bring it up here because there are babies and there are um, babies who can safely start walking at this four month uh, mark and use their jumping thing as well at its four month mark as long as they are doing it right and as long as they don't have this lots of extension they are doing lots of flexion as well and as long as their head balance is awesome and that's it yeah that's it <laughs> so thank you for watching and see you next time